Colonel, Colonel, I've done got news for you. There's a snooze about Chick fil A. Now, 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 young papa, I do say, what news do you have for me on Chick fil A? No doubtedly resting on their chicken laurels, I suppose. No, sir, I don't wish I could say that, uh, that they had, uh, they, they were resting on their laurels, sitting on their, their nice chicken they got now, but, sir, there's a new chicken sandwich in town. Huh? A new? A new chicken sandwich? Well, I, 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 I do say that changes things. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Coco's Creates. I'm Coleman. I am out here uh, on a lovely Saturday afternoon. Uh, just hit a nice little run in there. And, uh, and now it's time to grub. So, with this grub, this is a little bit of an exciting item because Chick-fil-A has released a new menu item. And Chick-fil-A doesn't really do that very often. It's like they'll release a new drink every now and then. But for the most part, it's really just like they stick with their menu. So this is a pretty big deal. And it's not just a minor item. This is a new thing. This is a honey pepper pimento with a spicy filet. So yeah, so it's a it's their chicken sandwich, um, but instead of the normal kind of toppings and stuff you get on there, which is just like, you get some pickles and then you get like a spread of mayo. Um, I, won't, I won't discuss how I feel about K uh, Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich. Okay, maybe I'll talk about it a little bit. It's whack, bro. They need to do something more. It's just like the tiniest little like, I think it tastes good, but it's like the tiniest little like thing of chicken and then like and then like a thin little layer of mayo and then like only if you got the spicy ones you get pickles on it. What's up with that? Give me more. Give me more. When you're competing with the big boys, you're competing with Popeyes, you're p competing with KFC, like uh, you got to step up your game a little bit more than that. But that's all I'm going to say because maybe they're doing it right now with this. This is also, it comes in normal. It comes in their spicy, so... Um, you can get it either way. I'm a spicy guy, so I went for the spicy. But yes, it is a chicken sandwich with honey, uh, like honey drizzled through it, I think, and then pimento spread over it, and then, um, wow, that is much, <laughs> if you've seen the pictures of this thing, you know it looks pretty nice. Here's what mine looks like. You would look at this and go, that's a chicken sandwich. You, you forgot to get the special one, Coleman. No, it's on there. It's it's just uh, kind of slapped in the middle with no regard for the rest. I don't. I think it's supposed to. Yeah. So it looks like there's some there's some jalapenos uh, on the bottom there. That's if you get the spicy one. You get the jalapenos. So, um, and then the breading's supposed to be spicy as well. I also got a frozen lemonade on recommendation of Emily, uh, my dear my dear Emily. She's actually sitting like right there. There it is. Uh, uh, and so I got a recommendation to try the frozen lemonade. I've never gotten this before, so this isn't like a full review on the frozen lemonade, but we'll do a little micro review. Ooh. It's got everything I love from lemonade. It's got that like, you know, tangy, it's got that niceness, but it's a lot, it's really creamy. Um, it almost, I mean, I don't know, if they put, I don't know anything about these. I don't know if there's ice cream in here, but it tastes like, yes, I, I'm getting reports that there is ice cream in here. Um, mm, that's really nice. It's just like a lemonade milkshake, which I've never had before, but I like it. Um, but yeah, so that's good. Uh, that's just kind of our micro review. The big boy is indeed the uh, hot honey pimento sandwich here. So, you know, let's go ahead I mean, we'll give it we'll give it the smell test. Ooh, it smells spicy. I mean, that's the jalapenos I'm smelling almost entirely. Um, but yeah, it's not just because it's not well constructed doesn't mean it's not good. However, I was hoping there would be some sort of a sauce or something. Oh, I almost I almost took it. I mean, that's just the breading of the chicken. But I almost ate that before before starting here. But but yeah, I mean, like listen, I get it. You know, they're, they're working fast. Uh, it's, it's a very popular restaurant. Um, a lot of people are coming to eat there. But, like, I don't know. I just think, like, it, it just, the presentation's a little lackluster. I thought there was going to be a little bit more pimento on there. So you got to see it a little bit more. 
Um, you got to kind of taste it throughout the burger, but it's really centralized in the middle here. Um, but hey, we'll take a couple bites. We'll see how we feel. Cheers. I didn't get any jalapenos in that bite, but I mean, I know what a jalapeno tastes like. I'm gonna take a couple more just to make sure I get a good overall feel for the sandwich before I give my final verdict. But I'll, you know, I'll throw in my little comments here and there. I will also say, I was kind of dissing their topping game and I will still diss it a little bit because the jalapenos are all under one section, but they gave a lot of jalapenos. Usually you order like a, a sandwich with jalapenos on it from a fast food place, you're getting like two, three, four tops. Four tops. There's like one, two, three, four, five. There's six here um, and they're decently sized ones. But again, they're all in the corner. They're all pushed away to the corner. What's the deal? Um, oh, um, mm. so first bite, I got some pimento, I got some honey, it tasted really nice, it was a nice flavor pairing, I'm gonna say it. Second bite, I just got chicken, I just got chicken, you gotta, you gotta spread it a little bit better than that, you gotta give me some more pimento. Alright, I gotta check something here. Ah, so the honey, I think that there's like a layer of honey on the bottom bun here. Um, and then the pimento on the top, and then also the jalapenos. Um, I almost wish I didn't get the spicy, because I like the jalapenos, but I wish I could taste a little bit more of the honey and pimento going in there. And the jalapenos are kind of, they're filling my mouth up with that flavor, but... I also think it's interesting. Why are they doing jalapenos on this? Because their their other chicken sandwich doesn't have jalapenos on it. The spice, the regular spicy chicken sandwich. So it's interesting that this variation of their spicy sandwich has jalapenos. Um, hmm. I would say. Kind of halfway, a little over halfway through even. Um, I'm gonna eat some fries while I'm chatting with y'all here, but. I, so I would say it's got a nice taste to it when you get to the taste. Um, oh, I've just, I've just received word from my field operative. Um, both spicy and non-spicy versions of this come with jalapeno. What's the point of having a spicy one? Sounds like they're both spicy to me. Um, but that's interesting, actually. Um, that's not something I realized. That's weird. That's really strange. Um, I think so far, I like the flavor when I get the flavor. I think the jalapenos don't need to be there. I think the pimento and honey would be a good pairing together. And the jalapenos, I like jalapenos, so they're nice. But... It just kind of feels like an extra thing thrown on top. Like, that wasn't really, like, in there. When they were coming up with this idea, they were like, uh, and, uh, and, uh, jalapenos? But, I don't know. Um, overall, if I had to rate this item on a scale of 1 to 10, it's poorly constructed, but I think the foundations are good here. I do think the jalapenos actually do subtract from this item, though. Um, I'm gonna give this item, like, a... It's gonna be lower than I thought I would give this. I thought I would like this quite a bit, but I think I'm gonna give it like a a 5.9 out of 10. Um, so above average, I think it's good. I think it is an improvement on their regular sandwich, but I think they just kind of threw in some extra stuff that didn't need to be thrown in. And um, and I mean, this was my sandwich specific, specifically. I may, I may have just gotten a bad one, but it was just badly made. There wasn't enough pimento. Um, to really satisfy that, to make you want more. Um, but yeah, uh, that is pretty much all I have to say for this item. So, 
If you liked this video, you can go ahead and drop that like. Um, and if you didn't like this video, it's okay to drop the dislike. If you're like Coleman, uh, you just said some rude things about Chick-fil-A in comparison to Popeyes and KFC. And I'll say, yeah, and I'll say it again, because it's the truth. And if you're scared of the truth, get off Coco's Create. Get off of here. Just kidding. But um, let me know what you didn't like in the comments so I can make these videos better for you. If you want to see more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified of whatever I post, whatever it is, be the first one there. Uh, comment first, all that good stuff. Make sure you ring that little dinger bell. Ding. Just like that. It's been a while since I've had Emily to do that. Uh, uh, just like that, and I'll send you an update on videos. YouTube will send you an update. Everything, you can be there first, all that good stuff. If you're looking for more Coco's content, make sure you check the links in the description to, to the Coco's Create Instagram, Coco's Create TikTok, and the Coco's Create Twitter. We're posting a little updates, a little extra stuff. So make sure you check those out if you're craving a little extra Coco's content. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!